Have you observed something strange? Every time a crime happens, every time some political scandal happens, every time the news says the chats have leaked, people start asking the same question. Wait, isn't WhatsApp end to end encrypted? If so, chats can't be leaked, right? Is the government listening? Are voice notes really private? Are calls really secure? Let's break the illusion. And trust me, point number 2 will change the way you look at WhatsApp. Point number 1. WhatsApp really is end to end encrypted. Your messages, calls, voice notes are encrypted using something called as Signal protocol, the strongest end to end encryption mainstream apps use. Meaning, your message is scrambled on your phone and only unscrambled on your friend's phone. Not Meta, not your ISP, not even any government tapping the network. But here's where it gets scary. Point number 2. Your phone is the weakest link, not WhatsApp. Most WhatsApp leaks don't come from WhatsApp. They come from your device. If your phone is hacked, rooted, backed up insecurely, synced to Google Drive or cloud, or someone has physical access, then in those cases your chats can be seen before they are encrypted or after they are decrypted. Meaning, WhatsApp is locked, but your phone is the open door. Third point: Governments don't break encryption; they break people. Now, what does that mean? Here's the truth: Governments don't announce. They rarely try to crack WhatsApp. They simply seize devices, pressure cloud backup companies, compromise targets with spyware like Pegasus, or access metadata from telecom providers. And metadata is powerful. Who you talk to, when, for how long, from where. You don't need the content when the context tells the whole story. So yes, WhatsApp really does keep your content private, but your device, your backup, your metadata and your operating system are the real vulnerabilities. If you found this small insight interesting, please follow and subscribe for more.